Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? This is your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I ran and I review. If I haven't told you this, I'm going to say it again. Ross is the reason why you should just wait before you go buying shit. If it ain't like a grill item for you, just wait. Man, because a lot of people done went and bought shit full price. I've been one of them. You know, Duke and a Ram cycle full damn price. Feeling some kind of way after that shit because I felt real stupid after buying it. Considering the damn thing was at Ollie's. Not Ollie's, no, that was Ross. Dude, you sitting there thinking that Ross, man, people were buying the X Men villain five pack, man, for a hundred and what, nine dollars, I think? At Ross for twenty four ninety nine? Dude, that really make you feel stupid as hell. Remember that Viper three pack that was like eighty dollars damn near? Ross for what? I think it was like what? 19 or 29 or 24, something like It was something like that. Dude, you just sitting there thinking about all this shit that you paid full price for. And I know a lot of you all say, man, but this stuff from last season. No, this shit was from this season that you seen all that stuff dropping. Like I told you, man, take your time. Retail stores are in trouble right now. Targets, your Walmarts, they're in trouble. People are not spending the way they used to. People are not, you know, donating their money to the cause anymore. And what I mean by donating their money to the cause, because they're not sitting here looking at it like, man, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to buy all this stuff. You know, you go in there with three items on your list. You leave with a hundred items. <laughs> and guess what? Shit, half of the shit you didn't really need. You just got it because you've seen it. He was like, man, wouldn't this be good? Now people are, you know, basically analyzing each purchase because the money now, you got to make each dollar count, each dollar last. This is why I'm saying before you make those big purchases, slow down and do your research on them, fam, because I got a lot of people coming at me, talking to me, saying, hey, uh, man, I made a bad move, man. I went out and bought something that was damn near a thousand dollars and later on they had it on sale for damn near 300 damn dollars. You know, it was a TV. And I was just sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, man, dude, sometimes you gotta take your time. You know, you know, can't be all of that, you know, man, I gotta get it while it's there. Guess what? You'll feel some kind of way after that, man, because these companies gonna keep making money regardless. And guess what? It ain't nobody damn fault that these companies making money. But the reason why, like I told you, we need to be careful before we make these purchases because Ross understands that Target and Walmart, they don't have the payroll to put their stock out. This is why you see pallets sitting in the middle of the floor for long periods of time sometimes at Walmart. And you know, they'd be like, no, nah, we supposed to put the stuff up this day. And it should be there for two more additional days. They don't have the man hours. And people ain't working off the clock. People ain't trying to hear that shit no more. Oh, man, you got to, you know, put something in for the company, man. You know, sometimes we, you know, we got to show loyalty. And, dude, people out here, like, I'm not about to show loyalty by basically giving you free hours. You know, whereas, you know, I'm not getting anything for it. <laughs> dude this is what i'm telling you pay attention slow your roll stop being thirsty i had to tell myself that because when i went to ross that time and you know even though for stuff that <clears throat> i didn't have on my list or i didn't buy i still felt silly sitting there looking at them damn prices like i told you for those mario situations man i was looking at those for some of the dc multiverse figures i bought a while back the marvel legends Dude, I was feeling some kind of way about some of this stuff because My Hero Academia, some of the Mortal Kombat, man, some of this stuff have you feeling. You got G.I. Joe classifieds in all these places. You got to take your time. Man, look, don't let some of these YouTubers rush you out into buying something, man, and you come out, find it later for 25 damn dollars. You'll feel mad as hell. I had someone tell me a long time ago, oh, I bought this $1,000 purse. I was the first one to have it. It was like one of those purses that you snap around your, it's like a fanny pack. But I think it was like, uh, 
think it was Coach, uh, Dooney Burke. It was something like that. And she was like, I paid like $1,000 for it. Bought it from downtown. And she said, I see them walking around with these things around their waist for like a hundred damn dollars. <clears throat> she said, man, I feel some kind of way about it. And this is what I want to tell you all. Pay attention to this shit. Don't get caught with the okie though. Man, being the first, being, you know, the one to say, <coughs> hey, Unc, I was the first to get this, man. That don't mean anything. Shit, spending extra money don't get you no brownie points nowhere, man. You know, like I said, the economy is crazy as hell. Inflation is through the damn roof. Companies closing down. Places that you thought was will fight inflation tooth and nail. Shit, your damn Twinkie companies are going out of damn businesses because they can't stay in business because people are too healthy now. And you know what? Back in the day, we wasn't healthy. We took our ass outside and played all damn day. You can eat 10 Twinkies in one motherfucking day and not gain a damn pound because you burnt that shit off. <clears throat> Even if you was already big. Ah. That shit really didn't matter. <clears throat> and I know you like uh, you're sneezing and coughing and everything. Your uncle thing. That's probably one of the reasons why you ain't seen a lot of videos from me, man. And, you know, and I said in the last video, I was going through a few things, man. Depression is a bitch. You know, like I said, you know, symptoms of onset depression or you thinking you getting depressed. Man, like I said, you pray yourself out of that stuff, man. You know, you got to fight it head on and, you know, you got to talk to people about what you're going through. And they help guide you out of it. You know, not everything is something on your own. And this is what I'm talking about with all of this, you know, collecting and stuff like that, man. We we got to talk to each other, man. Man, Unc, I don't know if that was a good deal. Oh, Unc, you bought 120 video games for 120 bucks. I don't think that's a good deal, you know. I'm going to tell you something. At the end of the day, not everything is a deal. At the end of the day, it may be a deal for you. I'm going to tell you something. If you're trying to grow to your collection, then you know what's right for you. If you're trying to just do what you do with your collection, then you're going to understand what's the next step to take. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't go buying shit you don't really need just because. You know, that's what I have to say to myself. I need to start making better decisions, better choices. You know, I got to start paying attention to what I'm putting in this room. What I'm thinking about not getting myself into, man. Uh, what to just phase out. It's being realistic, man. Shit cost. Man. Dude, and one of the bigger things that I was talking about, like I say always, dude, in this collecting situation, you got to have some thick ass skin, man. People will skin your ass in this thing. People will talk to you crazy, treat you stupid. Oh, you got all that old ass merchandise, man. We on the new stuff. I want to see the new stuff drop. I want to see you talk about that. See you buy that. Dude, ain't buying new brand new shit, man. Economy shit, and you want somebody to spend all their money buying toys. Dude, this is why I say you need a dose of reality, man. People ain't playing no more. People ain't wasting money anymore. People paying attention to what they need and how they look at the situation, man. I'm looking at this from a bigger standpoint. Collecting is a beautiful thing. But there has to be a limit. There has to be, you know, how far are you willing to go? It's just like having too many pair of shoes. When you got too many pair of shoes, you don't know which ones to, you know, wear. If you only got two pair of shoes, it's either the dark pair or the light pair, you know, to go with the outfit you got on. But see, it's the same with cologne. If you got too much of cologne, you know, you have an issue. If you got three colognes, you know, this cologne is for like the winter, <clears throat> this is for summer, and this is for everything in between. This is why I say, we have to have sort of a limit on shit that we do. I'm starting to slow down things I do, man. Or at least try. Because, you know, I have been picking up stuff, man. And, you know, I'm like, man, my hobbies are just expanding. My man is exploding. There are so many things that I want to get off into. There's been so many different things that I've been talking to you all about. As far as cars and stuff like that. And, 
you know, people, you know, like, man, just, you know, let me know, man. And I bring the whip by the crib, man. And, you know, man, I, you know, shit. Either you drive or I drive and we talk about it or whatever, you know. And I'm like, damn, man, you know, that's what I'm talking about. You know, then, you know, a, a subscriber or a commenter left some good names for titles of the channel up. You know, if I wanted to do these channels, man, and it was something about Thirsty Thursday or something. I was talking about doing like a wine tasting channel or something like that <clears throat> because someone was asking me suggestions on wine and I came up with a few, man. And they were like, damn, that was some good wine, man. Like, I don't even drink wine. I said, man, that's some good stuff. You know, you know some good stuff. You know, you get what I mean? And this is what I'm saying, man. You, you just got to have that, you know. And I want us to be able to <clears throat> go about this situation the way we need to go about it. You get what I mean? I want us to be able to be there and to experience some everything with one of another. You know, I don't want to just talk about one thing like everybody else do, man. This is not that. We grown here. We got so many other shits, problems, jobs <coughs> going on, man, that we just sometimes just need to... <coughs> Vent with one another, man. You need to talk. That talk. And that's what I'm happy about being able to talk that talk with y'all about. Because we all know what the hell I'm talking about. But to later, thank you for watching. Peace out.